Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another uh, Is It Worth It? Um, today we're looking at a little bit of gold and um, this one from uh, Pegasus this is uh, on men's auction but you can actually find these guys off their own website as well um, 1857 uh, Sovereign um, I, did I did speak to the guy about this now initially um, this coin was like Four and a half, I think it was about four and a half grand, four three nine eight, and uh, um, I was like, "Well, bit of a shocker." Um, and I did speak to him, kind of like trying to get his price down, and um, eventually, like I eventually, you know, what you can see here is a different price from what he was talking to me about. Um, I eventually got him down to around three thousand euros. Um, it's a nice coin, I have to admit. It is a nice coin. Um, he did tell me that he overpaid on this coin. Um, and he was, the grade he was expecting, about a 64 grade or so. Um, so I did a little bit of checking around. And um, uh, I actually found on Coin Archives, uh, let's just have a look at that. Um, I did find on Coin Archives a different coin. This one here, again, 25th of April 2019, it seems to be a popular uh, date. Um, but uh, this coin here is an MS62, uh, sorry, MS62 plus, so it's uh, one point higher, uh, one point lower, sorry, than the previous one, uh, than the one in Pegasus. And um, yeah, it's, for me, it's a little bit ouchy. Um, now I did. I was looking for one, a, a specific one. There was one in a Baldwin sale, and I couldn't find it. I don't know why it's not come up. But um, when I spoke to this guy at Pegasus, uh, obviously I did a quick, re quick research, and I actually found uh, the same grade coin. Uh, it was sold in Baldwin's. Now, as I said, I can't remember when it was now because the, the things not coming up. Um, and that one in Baldwin's that sold for um, 1400 and exactly the same grade and Baldwin's I believe has a 24% commission fee which brings that to £1736. Now that auction was only I think December last year or maybe even earlier this year um, so for me the price is very very high. Um, now in here you can see pop one finest graded um, so I went into NGC and had a look, uh, click, this is the coin, this is the exact coin. Now if you click on uh, NGC, um, you'll find here that yeah it's pop 1 but there's actually 7 in the same population list. And um, so he's not, he's not actually telling you that, he's just basically trying to make you believe that it's uh, 1 of 1 or the highest in the population list. And if we go into, this is PCGS, if we go into PCGS, there's a 63 here. Um, that was sold uh, 9th to the 11th, $1,955 with your 20%, $2,346 of 1816 pound or 2,091 euros. Now, that to me tells me that uh, the coin hasn't really done anything between then and now uh, to the Baldwin's coin. So um, I do think the price is uh, fairly excessive. It's about 1,500 euros excessive. And as you can see here, there's higher graded coins. So uh, you'd have to, you know, you'd have to really want that coin if you're going to want to buy it. But as I said, um, I did speak to him through email, this guy here. And... Um, he was uh, trying to get rid of it at about 3000 to me. Um, I don't know how much he's paid for it. I don't think he's paid, I don't think he's paid two grand for it, to be perfectly honest. But he's obviously bought it raw and he's got it graded. And uh, But it's a nice coin, I have to admit. It is a nice coin, but unfortunately that is a fairly excessive, uh, a fairly excessive price for me. You can see here he's still looking for offers, even though he's discounted at 879 <coughs> euros. So, yeah, it's a, it's a difficult one. Um, 
you would have to really, really want this coin if you're going to try and get it. Um, I would suggest. I, I, I don't think he's going to come down to about 2,000 euros, that's for sure. Um, but uh, you might, if you're lucky, get it for maybe two and a half. So if any of you guys are looking for something or wanting one of these, it's a really nice coin. Um, and but the price is very, very high. So today we're uh, looking at gold and we're going to look at another coin uh, that I've seen on Moon's Auction. Again, it's from uh, one of our featured dealers, it's the Coin Cabinet. Uh, again, my apologies, but um, you know, I just look at coins and when something pops up, I, uh, I go and have a look. Anyway, let's have a look at that one. Now, this coin here from the Coin Cabinet, 1841 uh, Sovereign. PCGS XF45, 16,200 euros. Um, it is a rare coin, uh, rated by March as uh, R3, um, 124,053 mintage. Um, it's 16,200 euros worth it. Well, if we go to coin archives, uh, here you'll see a, another one that was recently sold again on the 25th I think this was the 24th yeah it was 25th of April again uh, this one's got unbarred A's in Gratia um, $13,000 which is um, $15,600 with commission and um, which would equate to £12,078 roughly or 13,912 euros. This coin here is three grades higher than the one that uh, the coin cabinet is offering. Um, so you would think it, it was excessive. Uh, Andreas wants 2,288 euros more for a less, for three grades less than this one sold for. Now, if you don't know, XF45 which is the coin that Andreas has, XF45 here, that is near very fine. Uh, so you're between fine and very fine. Um, the Spink price guide, um, fine is £5,000, very fine £10,000. So you're kind of looking at in between that, which would obviously be £7,500 or €8,639. So you can see again how dealers are making money, uh, double up here, and uh, he's making a hefty profit, that's for sure, if it sells. Um, for me, that is uh, an extremely excessive price, although some people might want to pay it, who knows, um, but that's entirely up to them, they want to lose some money. Um, but for me, this one is uh, extremely excessive, so... Um, I don't know. You, as I said, you can see you can see how dealers are making money, and um, you know, are, they are simply pushing the prices with the profits. And the guys that are buying these coins are obviously not really doing much research. Uh, as we can see from uh, the, the last coin I, uh, I mentioned from Andreas, uh, this one here, this eighteen forty five crown AU fifty three. This coin sold now. As you can see here, and um, I mentioned in the uh, previous uh, "Is it worth it?" video that there was uh, one on eBay for about two hundred euros less. Um, I think it was in one grade higher. So you can see, you know, how these guys are making their money, and and how other people are actually losing money if they don't do research and shopping around. So. Um, we're going to go on to the next one. Uh, the next one was uh, is the 1937 gold proof set that was up for auction. Uh, the auction was yesterday on the 14th of May. And we'll see how that one's done. Okay, so here we are at this uh, Numisma auction. Um, this one has got me a little rattled, basically because of the price. 11,300 euros. Now, as I said, um, I retracted my bid 
on the grounds that this wasn't um, as described scratches and so on uh, within this five pound um, here in the bottom and the only way that you can retract your bid is if an item isn't as described or if an auction lot isn't as described um, they've described it as you know top grade and it certainly wasn't top grade and they know this they didn't change it uh, 11,300 I believe could well be an auction record for this <coughs> um, with commission you're looking at 13,673 euros and honestly somebody is going to be very very um, annoyed whoever's bought this is going to be very annoyed when this comes uh, and lands on their doorstep that is just uh, in my opinion it's just a disgrace that they've even let this carry on um, I'm going to go into coin archives I'm going to show you a lot that actually sold I think it was January this year uh, same set this was sold by Kunka and I would uh, basically I would put this lot down as to you know uh, similar grade not as their grade but as similar grade as I see it of these coins um, and it was this lot here 31st of January 2019 this lot sold for eight and a half thousand euros uh, nine thousand euros nine thousand seven hundred euros uh, with commission uh, wasn't they weren't perfect you know there was you can see there it wasn't perfect and um, I would say that this uh, um, set from the Misma is in similar grade as this one and um, I think it's just a disgrace that they've actually let that go on without changing the uh, description um, the other one that was in the same auction I wanted to show you uh, it was this one here this gothic crown now if you remember in my previous video uh, I highlighted a, a gothic crown that was for sale for 19,000 something euros uh, this is in a, a slab um, the one that I mentioned in the previous video was one point higher just one point higher but this is uh, 63 the one that I showed you was a 64 this coin here sold for 6,400 euros uh, with commission 7,744 which makes this coin look absolutely ridiculous over overpriced so as you guys can see I mean I wouldn't bother for one point over or one point under sorry um, and saving myself something like 12,000 euros I don't know what you guys think but I would you know I would prefer to save 12,000 euros than having to pay 12,000 euros more for one point higher it doesn't make any sense that is just not logical whatsoever but as I said to you guys it just makes you see exactly what these dealers are trying to pull um, you know making excessive profits and again as I said continually pushing the prices higher and higher um, and making collectors you know it's kind of forcing out the everyday collector uh, out of the market and you know if it continues like that there's a lot of people that won't continue to buy these sort of coins so uh, there we have it guys this is annoyed me uh, <laughs> there we have it um, for this um, number three and is it worth it I uh, hope you guys are taking notice of uh, things that I'm highlighting and uh, you know it does pay to do your research and hopefully you guys can pick up a, a coin that you're interested in at decent prices instead of paying these uh, obscene prices okay guys uh, as usual like comment and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you on the next co uh, next coin we'll catch you on the next video